So as you know, YouTube is huge. It's an awesome way to get your message out and reach people around the world, but how do you use it for churches? And what are the tips to really get results and extend the reach of your message with YouTube? We're gonna talk about that in this video. Hey, what's up guys? Sean here, author of YouTube for Churches, and I just wanted to shoot a quick video talking about some of the best tips and ways of thinking when it comes to really reaching more people and extending the reach of your message with YouTube. And you know, YouTube is one of my favorite platforms. It's such a great way to uh, upload messages and snippets and all kinds of creative content and really not just serve your church better and those inside of your community that already know about you, but reach new people and reach new people locally and reach new people in your community. And here are just three kind of quick tips when it comes to getting great results with YouTube. The first one is consistency, being consistent. You know, one of the things that YouTube actually rewards is a consistent schedule when it comes to YouTube. And so when you come to, when it comes to using YouTube, make sure to not just upload here and upload there, but upload on a consistent basis. You know, your sermon messages, your weekly messages and uh, that, that are you video and share at your church, that's a great thing that you could upload consistency, uh, consistently to YouTube. But another thing could be maybe creating a weekly show where you, if you're the pastor, or, you know, the pastor at your church, uh, the, the, one of the teachers or whoever, they maybe do a weekly show where they talk about questions people are asking, uh, people are searching online, that they uh, do a little extended teaching or something directly to your church. So consistency, that's the key. Keep it on a regular consistent schedule. If you have video announcements that you upload, do it at the same time every week. YouTube rewards that and you actually get better results when it comes to people finding and discovering your channel. Number two, you know, it kind of goes without saying, but make sure you have quality videos. You know, upload videos that you would want to watch. Content is king. You know, quality videos that uh, not just on the good audio and good lighting and always be working to up, up your video production, but also just quality content. You know, don't ramble on and on. Be organized. You know, respect the audience. And we know this, that good content will always rise to the top. So how can you improve the quality of your videos? Not just the content, how it looks, all of those aspects, those will help, uh, you know, get better results for your church. And then lastly, answer questions. What do I mean by that? That when it comes to YouTube, you want to uh, create videos that are answering terms people are searching for. You know, recent statistics came out that almost 70% of millennials believe that YouTube is a place they can go to find answers to their questions. So that means that their questions about spirituality, God, life, dating, marriage, relationships, they're looking for advice. They're looking for answers on YouTube. So when it comes to using YouTube for your church, how can you create videos that position themselves and that are found on the other side of search terms that answer questions. I wrote down just a few examples. People are asking questions like, how to find your calling? That'd be a good title for a YouTube video that you could teach on. Or five tips for knowing if God is in something. You know, people wanna know like, how do I know if God's in this? How do I test that? Uh, how to grow your spiritual gifts would be a great title. I'm sharing these so that you can kind of catch the types of videos that you could create and teach on or just post on your channel or even the ways you title messages to your channel so that they could really get found and you could discover more people. And uh, here's one that kind of ties into hot topics or, or whatever. Should Christians watch The Da Vinci Code? Now I know that's not like hot anymore and kind of out there, but thinking that way along stuff like what are the hot topics? What are the current trends that people are searching for? and uh, what kind of videos could you create around that. The point being, make sure that your videos are consistently uploaded. Always work to upload the quality and the, uh, of your videos, whether or not just the video quality, but also what you're teaching, the actual content. And then number three, answer questions that can be found in search. Do that and you're gonna get awesome results when it comes to using YouTube for your church. So hey, thanks so much for checking out this video. Make sure to subscribe on YouTube for more church communications, church media, and church leadership 
tips, and also, if you haven't downloaded the free guide I put together, uh, is a checklist for every time you upload a YouTube video. You can get that at youtubeforchurches.com, and it just goes through just some reminders and tips that will help you get these kinds of results, as well as how to optimize every video that you consistently upload that's good and answers questions, what to do to just make sure it's titled right, it's got the right tags and things like that. So that's at uh, youtubeforchurches.com. You can grab it there free. And then I'd also love to just connect more on here on YouTube. So hit the comments up, hit the like button if you appreciate this video, and uh, let's connect on social media as well. Appreciate you so much. Take care, keep crushing it, and we'll talk soon. Yo.